Hello there. Hello, hello, hello. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the stream. Day 10. Um, day 10. Of our crazy journey. Eds, as always, the first one on the stream. What's up? Uh, I think we need... Yo, let's go. Ah, this is tier four. I mean this, so. Okay, all right. Today, uh, Kent, what's up? Um, Rin as well, and Daniel, welcome to the stream, guys. All right, we'll start off the stream with start of the stream with a couple of selling, selling. <laughs> <clears throat> oh yeah, new update. New update. Um, what do you guys think of the new update? I, I don't actually have any... I wasn't affected by the update. Not really. There weren't any items that I was using. There wasn't really any... Any significant changes. To my style of gameplay, really. That's leather four, right? Mm. We're still ways away, actually. Need to park block too. All right. Do I need planks? No. Uh, bars. I think I need bars. Alright, welcome, welcome. Oh, we're going to pick a winner actually today. I'm going to upload, I think, two videos today. Or maybe I'll just merge the first one. You know what? I'll, I'll upload another video. We'll pick the winner for the giveaway from the last one. Uh, which was uploaded, uh, let's see, when was it uploaded? It's uploaded four days ago, so if you still have a chance, click the link in the description to join that. While I try to figure out, do I need leather? Yeah, I need leather. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm also going to work on the enchanted gear calculator today, which shouldn't be that difficult. I already know um, what to do, and I already know how to edit the entire thing, but that update should be live. Oh! Why do I have leather? Oh, I just did leather! Dude! What a brain fart. I just did leather. Dang it. <laughs> what a brain fart, dude. <clears throat> I need to do clock. I need to do cloth, not leather. They did leather. Do we need bars? Do we need to sell bars? <clears throat> let's see, let's see. Today, um, I'm going to actually start with an experiment today with the billionaire project. Um, as you know, most... I do have help. I do have help. 
I am getting helped by a couple of um, players when it comes to transporting and we did try them helping me with the refining as well but I feel like the refining part was too much for them 2419 so 2419 2419 hmm. actually that great but yeah the refining part was i guess too much for them so let's give them a break i think we need plank here as well so with that being said, I changed my strategy as well when it comes to purchasing <clears throat> what to purchase in what city to maximize or to reduce the time of refining but maximize the transport still. Wolfie, what's up? Professor, is uh, tier 3 blockstone still profitable if I buy tier 2? Yes! Sorry, I got excited there. Um, yes, and let me explain what you need to do. Is this is some exciting stuff. All right, uh, let me explain what you need to do, Rin. And I may need you to answer or download one of the templates. So head over to burnstotv.com while I'm doing this. Head over to burnstonetv.com, click on the calculator, and let me just zoom in so you all, you all can see. Alright, um, scroll down and get any of these calculators, um, Rin. Maybe, I don't know, get the single RRC. Click the single RRC uh, download button here. Download that, and I'll explain what you need to do in order to... Um, know if you can still make profit using if you're going to buy tier 2 blocks directly <clears throat> that's one four five right yeah the profits aren't as high as last year, but I think I can still make it. planks as well last one will be planks we'll probably get some leather as well um uh, vince uh, say professor <laughs> how much do you make every day in the billionaire project um so based on my calculation well simple calculation really i need to profit 33 million per day in order to make it work but I failed to consider that most of most of my partners in this project are new. So that's the one thing that I actually failed to consider. And um, that's one of the reasons why my profits hasn't been as high as they need to be. But you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll eventually gel together. We'll see. We'll figure it out. But right now, we're actually just under 10 million per day. So like 33% of the goal. <laughs> <clears throat> but okay, Rin, after this, uh, I'll answer your question. Directly so that. 
Six additional six. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we're done with that. Well, let me answer your question first. So once you download, um, let's say you downloaded that single RRC, right? Actually, let me download it myself. Oh, there's an ad. All right, I like that ad. All right. So when you open this up, I know that will take some time to open up. All right. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Give me just one sec here. Okay. It's not working. All right. But basically, on that calculator or any calculator, actually. <clears throat> any calculator you will see a buy order converter it should say a buy it should say buy order converter it should all right let me see yep i don't know if you can actually this is what i hate about like microsoft apps okay um buy order price converter so what does this mean? Basically, if let's say you bought a tier two stone for 40 silver each. Oh, this is not the calculator that I want you to use. <laughs> okay, but basically if you place buy orders, there is an additional setup fee, right? It's okay, so that's good, that's okay. So 40.6 is, um, is the price that you will need to pay if you say place buy orders um, for tier 2 stones you will need 40.6 now go to the calculator it should be the single RRC go to the single RRC and go to uh, tier 2 usage fee doesn't really matter resource rate does matter and put in 40.6 40, 40. here and piece would be one all right what this does and what it should do which it is not doing let me just hit refresh let me see if that works single rc did not work. Oh, it did not actually update. Tier 2, 40.6, 1. Why is it not updating? Why is it not updating? All right, let me. Ah, ah, know what it is. It's stuck. It was stuck on the. <clears throat> it was stuck on the ad page. Why is it not? Give me just one sec, let me figure this out. Hmm. Let me figure this out live on the stream. It's working on the... Oh, there you go, it worked. Yeah, there's just a bit of a delay. Oh. Hmm. 
it's just a bit of a delay. There we go. A bit of a delay. So 26, basically, um, if you're going to buy a tier 2 stone for 40 silver, it is equivalent to buying a tier 2 block worth 26 silver. So if you can buy a tier 2 block lower than this value, of course basing on this one, basing on how much you can buy a tier 2 stone, go buy directly a tier 2 block, okay? I hope that explained it well. I barely understood it myself. <laughs> It's not showing the percentage, right? Yeah, just give it some time. Sometimes with the connections that I um, created with Google Sheets, because actually they're both, the calculator is based on another one so that I can uh, preserve. Oh, where is... Where's my mammoth? Where is my mammoth? Obviously not there. Alright, best guess is bridge watch. Uh, Frostborn, you have a tier 3 set. Uh, send me a screenshot of all of this, all of the items. Send me the screenshot of all of the items to Discord. Actually, go to Burnstone TV. Go to BurnstoneTV.com. Um, go to 100 million scavenger hunt. And there should be a claim your prize button over here. So click that. Claim your prize. And we should be good. Follow the instructions there and um, yeah. Will be the first one to win. Is it is it with premium or without the calculators? With with premium, but it doesn't really matter that much. The only thing that will change is when you're selling. It will change. The percentage profit will change, but not that much. Only three percent. Daniel and Kent, they're just enjoying the gambling. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, and if you have any other money making questions, let me know. Ooh, fine cloth and bronze bar. Mmm, leather as well, okay. Let me just delete all of that. All right, let's give away, let's give this man how much do we need? So Rakit actually won the giveaway, silver giveaway, let's see how much he won, huh? Where did he win then? <laughs> uh, oh, I think he, yeah, he won the BTVC work hard. Yep, there you go. He won this much. Congratulations! All right, congratulations. <clears throat> so yeah, he won the 
The crafters work hard giveaway. There's actually a lot of um a lot of entries there. 100 plus, 130 plus. <clears throat> So how should I sell 5,000 stone block one city only? Um, go to where it sells the highest. <clears throat> go to where it sells the highest. And 5,000 is actually really low. Really, really low. Let's uh, see here. Stone blocks. Here too. Look at how much is being sold. 281,000 at its peak in Bridge Watch, where it actually sometimes is the highest. Last six hours, the past six hours, 221,000 stone blocks. So, tier two, you don't have any issues. You won't have any issues at all selling um, tier two refined or actually tier two raw materials. 5,000 is a drop in the bucket. <clears throat> Where's Fish Watch? Ah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? Fish Watch. Ah, okay. Uh, if you want to transfer to carry on full mammoth, how much do I, how much need to pay? Uh, it depends. It depends on the transport service, Frothborn. Depends on um, who you're talking to. It depends on what rates you guys are going to agree upon. There is no one set rate. Unless there was one that I wasn't aware of. Nachi, what's up? Yeah, um, and Frostborn, send me a message, send me the screenshots of all of the items that you have claimed or you have found for the 100 million scavenger hunt. Send me a screenshot and um, we will figure out where I can get that item for you so I can verify and I can give you your price. I actually don't have much space now in Bridge Watch Bank. RIP. Alright, we'll do... I guess we'll do crafting for stones today. <clears throat> um, 449. Oh, I bet... I bet that's overcrowded. I'm planning to do HO crafting, but it is is it worth it? Like the risk, the reward for it? Uh depends man. It depends on your risk tolerance, to be honest. Um but if you have scouts, if you have scouts with you, if you have a couple of friends that it can scout for you while you're transporting try to keep you safe go for it but if you're not familiar with black zones at all don't do it try to get try to familiarize yourself with how black zones work how the shields work how yeah how the shields work how 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 the carab <laughs> how invisibility works how the shrine works so try to master that first, that's my suggestion, and always make sure to have scouts with you, alright? Always make sure to have scouts with you, and maybe players that can defend you, because when you're crafting, well when you're crafting you can probably get away with like a boar rather than a bear or an ox. You can probably get away with that. Um, when transporting resources though, refined resources, you may want to use an ox. 
but on your way back, you may be able to get away with a boar because crafted items weigh like half. Crafted items weigh half than <clears throat> than the resources that they need. So. Right, let's, let's craft, 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 boys. <clears throat> 2.30. Is it really worth refining 4 flat because it's really small profit? What do you mean 4 flat? Like, resources? Or gears? Yes, there is smaller profit, but higher demand. Higher, yeah, basically higher demand. I'm not going to make 1 million per stack of tier 4, but I know players need players need more tier 4 than tier 8 or than tier 6. So I'm playing the demand game, not really the profit. There's much more demand, especially if you're crafting tier 4 gears. The demand in the black zone is much much higher than with what tier 5 tier 6 so you play the demand game rather than the profit game and that's what makes my methods really work because you don't really need specs to um, you know you don't need specs to make profit with my methods and without specs you're basically taking off the limits on how much you can actually craft you can craft and refine as much as you want, of course base it on the demand of the black market or the market that you're selling to, but it's basically unlimited. Hmm. Craft in HOs and sell in Carillion. Yeah, yeah try and, try and do it. As long as you're familiar with how the black zone works, you should be good to go. Frostborn. Did you send me a message? You don't have a set. You only have two items of a set. So you need five items. You need... You need an armor. You need a cape and a bag. So you're missing, missing three out of the five sets. Watch the video if you're... If you're not familiar with how this works. Go to birdsotv.com, 100 million scavenger hunt. Watch this video to uh, to know how you can actually claim your price and what you need to claim your price. I earned 5 million in 4 days of refining. Damn! But I spent most of it in investing my happiness. What? Investing my happiness like buying a cool mount. I don't know if it's worth it. Um, I mean, you're happy, so <laughs> you're happy, so it's worth it, I guess. Because at the end of the day, we all just want to be happy. But investment-wise, that's definitely not a good um, investment. You need to. I mean, you already have the method, though. You already have the method um, perfectly figured out so you know you, you were able to make five million in four days that's really really good um so just repeat repeat that and buy all the cool mounts that you want yeah you need five items five specific slots actually bag helmet cape armor and shoes you need those five items to be considered as a set at least in the scavenger hunt so yeah try to try to hunt for those items guys and I'm actually I have a list here it says I oh, can't see it it says create scavenger hunt trivia so I have some items 
that I craft, right? I have masterpiece items that I craft. Now, <clears throat> with the rate, at this rate of people finding stuff, we will probably need, we probably need like a year for someone to win. So I'm going to make it easier, but I'm going to make it interesting too. So in the next couple of videos, several videos actually, I will be giving away not silver, but I will be giving away the specific item that I have crafted. So tier 4 is worth um, 4 million, tier 3 is worth 1 million, right? But it needs to be a set. So I'll just help you guys. Um, maybe jumpstart your scavenger hunt journey by giving you one item if you win the giveaway. And also, I will be posting some articles at PrinceTV.com, giving you clues where I hid um, some of the items in the game because I will be placing them for uh, sell orders in the Royal City, maybe even um, the Carillion Market. Or, I was thinking, maybe in a black zone hideout. We'll find, uh, you guys will find out soon. Um, I'll work on that all day today. But we'll see. I will just make um, things more exciting. Exactly, Rin. Rin, that is exactly what, what my mindset is. I'm actually watching the documentary of Mr. Beast right now. I've been a huge fan of Mr. Beast. Um, I don't know, probably since like 2018. <clears throat> but I like how I like how he does things on YouTube. So that's exactly what I'm trying to um, emulate. Rin, exactly who I'm trying to emulate. So do you, so do you just do low tier bulk refining of different resources? Basically, Vince. Basically, and it's one of the things that, again, I've t I've said this a million times on the stream. Um, I've been doing this for two years. I haven't been really secretive about this method, and it still works. It still literally works, and still makes me millions of silver each day. Um, <clears throat> it's probably because. Players are not willing to transport, man. Players, a lot of players fall for quick and easy money-making method and they don't want to put in the work. Which is sad, to be honest. <clears throat> They're just getting clickbaited all day long. When will be the next fame week? I have no idea. That's uh, the fame week. Fame week is um, what is the fame week? Fame week only is after a special event or special milestone from from uh, SBI. <clears throat> Don't need to wait for fame week though. Ah. Still have these. Still have these. Dude, I have a lot of stone. I have 25 mil worth of stuff just right here. And th 4 mil here. Right, let me just refine this real quick. <clears throat> I familiarize your methods. I'm getting too confident. Wait. I'm getting too confident in myself, like if I lose money, I just think to myself that I can make more money later at the, at, at the end of the day. I lost more than what I make in a day. I mean, that's, that's the concept, man. As long as you have the concept down, you shouldn't be worried about silver. That's the same mindset I had, or I still have, up to, the, up to this day, because I know I can make more money. I know how to make money, so I'm not... At least in the game. <laughs> I know how to make a lot of silver in the game. And I'm fairly confident that even if I lose like a 2 million set in the Z in ZVZ, I'm not really worried because I know how to make more silver. Right? And that's the mindset that I want you to have, actually. 
That's the mindset that I want you to have. Get familiar, get familiar with my money making method. It's like, it's so easy. It does take a bit of effort, but it's so easy to execute that it's mind boggling how profitable it still is after two years. So yeah, just follow my method um, script. I believe you're a crazy monkey, right? Follow my method script, use the calculator. If you guys are not yet familiar, uh, birdstonetv.com has you covered. Go to birdstonetv.com, hit on the calculator, click the calculator, and you will be presented with the calculator over here. <clears throat> I do actually, um, I I am going to update this from time to time, probably a, twice a day. So if you want to be notified, if you want to be notified when I update this, I I'll make sure that everything is accurate and blah, blah, blah. Um, join my Discord channel, link is in the description below. And get the Albion role. And under Albion, um, Albion text chat, there is a request calculator role at the bottom. If you um, request a calculator role, basically, whenever I update the calculator, you will be pinged, you will be notified, so you can take advantage of the updated prices on burnstonetv.com. And if you're not familiar with the burnstonetv.com's calculator, just hit up, click on uh, tutorials, bottom, or scroll down, and you will be. You know, there you go. It will be presented with the tutorials. Do you still input stuff on your calculator? Or you're just familiar with the price. Um, I input values every day. I still use the calculator calculator every single day. <clears throat> every single day. So, um, yeah, I'm still using it because it's a powerful thing, man. It's a powerful tool, the calculator, because <clears throat> it's um, it ma it makes decisions easier for me. It makes decisions easier for me. I know where to buy. I know where to sell. I know basically what to buy. Um, what to buy for that specific day to maximize my profit. And I still do it every day. I still go around the city each day, look for the price for her sp the prices of specific resources, put it in the calculator and have the calculator um, make my life easier. The transporting is the only thing that I'm too lazy to do. Most players are lazy to transport. Don't um, don't feel bad, Vince. And that's one of the reasons why this still works, <laughs> because they um, they watch my videos and they say uh, you just need to uh, transport this materials to this city, and they'll be like, no. <laughs> but it's um, it's fun, man. You get to catch catch up on movies when you're transporting. Listen to music. Catch up on some of your lectures, maybe. Are you an SBA partner? No, I'm working on it though. I submitted, I submitted the form to be a um, creator, SBA creator or Albion creator. I don't know what exactly it is called. I haven't heard from them, but hopefully um, we can partner up with SBA soon. Where should I sell my stone blocks as I recently started refining them? So here's what you want to do. Go to birdstonetv.com. Fill this calculator, man. Go. There is no easy way to do it. I tried to <clears throat> use the Albion API to get the prices uh, automatically. It's not really accurate. And sometimes it gives you zero values. So it's not really truly beneficial for, for anyone, to be honest. So just go around the city. <clears throat> Yesterday, I think I uh, updated this. Yesterday, I saw it selling the highest at Limhurst. So just go around the city, take off all your gear. Oh, do take off all your gear. Um, 
remove everything in your inventory, go use the travel planner, go from one city to another, teleporting one city to another, check the prices for the resources that you want to buy, you want to sell, you know, put them in the calculator or maybe put them on your template and then just uh, sell there. <clears throat> I really need to strengthen my mindset that I will earn money if I invest more. That is true. And if you put in more effort, that's the reason why I wanted to create methods without the use of focus and specs. Of course, you, you will make more money with focus and specs, but I want to <clears throat> create a method where the more effort you put in, in that method, the more silver you'll get. It's basically the entire template that I have. <laughs> Alright. I don't know if this is like my internet connection. Can you guys confirm? Whenever you click on the travel planner, does it take a while for your... Like, look at this. I'll click on the travel planner. It takes a while for actually for me to transport to teleport i don't know why i don't know why you would do such a thing maybe i Right, I'll, t I'll take advantage, and if I were you as well, I'll take advantage of this. 2.30 uh, for crafters work hard, and oh, 2.25 here for big city. And I'll stick with 2.30. So take advantage of the low resource, or low <clears throat> crafting fee. Because some of these players are actually jacking up their prices. I don't know if they're not part of the thingy, but... Yeah, 230 should be good enough for me. <clears throat> uh, so I don't know if Rakid is actually like responding to my message. Rakid, are you responding? I think Rakid is um, responding to it. I don't know. <clears throat> and if I missed your question, let me know. Like, like ask it again. If I missed your question. It's happening right now in mine? Damn. So it's not it's not my internet then. Lag beyond. <laughs> it's actually a bit annoying, but you know. Not really. So to those who are new to the stream, if you have any money making questions, let me know because uh, we have the calculator. The Albion Online Calculator. This is free. It's absolutely free. And um, if you want to support Burnstone TV Gaming, F, of course, and, and help in the maintenance of the website and the calculator. And help us develop more calculators in the future. You can be a YouTube sponsor by clicking a YouTube sponsor. It's like a monthly fee. But if you don't want to pay, of course, I understand. Just click an ad. Single ad click gets me 10 cents. So... <laughs> If you want to support the stream, eh, dude. But if you want to support the stream, support the website, support what we do at Prince of TV Gaming, you know, click an ad or two. <clears throat> Single click gets uh, gets me ten cents. And I forgot potato salads, boys. So it's a long way back to the market. But I am willing to put in the time to go back to the market because I know the potato salad will help me refine faster. <clears throat> Avex, what's up, buddy? Tongue in a mocha. <laughs> that video which uh, YouTuber was saying crafting higher. Wait, give me just one sec. 
let me buy a potato salad, start crafting, and answer that question. So we'll be more efficient. Efficiency is the key, boys. Alright, uh, Rin says, Hey, I saw a video in which a YouTuber was saying crafting in higher tier HO with 42% return rate. So they don't need to use focus to craft higher level items because they... Because... Okay, because they make 7 million per run. That is true. That's actually true. Um, if you go to... Alright, let's use Bridge Watch as, as an example. Open up your map, click on Bridge Watch, uh, click the drop down arrow in the top right corner of your screen. I don't know if this is available on mobile, but yeah. So you see here, crafting crossbow for sandy areas, right, gives you, for Bridge Watch, it gives you 15%, plus 15% crafting bonus, right? It says here, repeatedly crafting this item type here will grant you a total production output of at least 133%. So basically 33% more compared to um, basically when you have zero crafting bonus. Now let's go to the black zone. The black zone, let's uh, use let's use the sandy areas as well. For sandy areas, I believe. Are there no okay. If you go to next to this portal already, the Avalonian storm i don't know if you go deep inside these these territories let's say let's just go sunfang wasteland do the same open their minimap click the top right uh drop down arrow it gives you actually plus 40 percent which gives you at least 58 percent more uh when you repeatedly craft in this area Unfor unfortunately there's only one um, hideout here and it's for escalation obviously you need to have access to this island uh, hideout and obviously you need to have I think crossbow is like for warrior forge you need to have the crafting plot as well and what's good th another good thing about the recent update is that whenever you level up the hideout <clears throat> whenever you level up and hide a hideout uh, you actually increase the crafting bonus as well. Do you remember the power cores and the blah blah blahs? You have to put it in your hideouts. I think it actually increases the resource return rate more. So, yeah, black zone hideout crafting is can be really profitable. As with anything in this game, high risk, high reward has always been the theme of Albion Online. So, refining, transporting resources from from a city all the way to like the middle of a black zone obviously is going to be dangerous. But if you're part of a big guild, they can easily scout for you. They can easily defend you, easily um, secure your safety. And on your way back, if you want to sell to the red zone or to the black market, Caroleon or ZVZ, blah blah blah, since you already have that that big guild, you don't really have to worry about it. So yes, crafting in the black zone, really profitable, really risky as well. Yo to yo to you, <laughs> yo to you. What's up, buddy? Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> I'm still confused uh, which checking which price I should sell my resource to. Alright, Crypt. Like the one you did. Like the one you did last stream, the market chart. Ah, okay. Okay, I can probably show you again, Crypt. I can probably show you again. I should have done it in the beginning of the video, but yeah, I can show, show you briefly what I did. Um, last time on the stream, yeah, that's one of the advanced, more advanced, um, techniques. I would, I don't want to say techniques, but one of the advanced, um, tactics on so you know what, what, at what, what, uh, at what price to sell, and to see if at that certain price it will actually sell. So yeah, don't worry. 
Oh, uh, just remind me after I refine, okay? Remind me after I refine this batch. I'll show you what I did. And to those who are new, once again, burnstonetv.com. Make it your best friend. We have a free online calculator. Head over to burnstonetv.com. Hit, click the calculator. And you will be presented with this. We have the resource refining calculator. We also have a food calculator. A gear crafting calculator, which I will actually um, update today. A single RRC. We also have a potion calculator. If you want to know how all of these work, hey, scroll down. We have um, tutorials there as well. You can head over to um, money making guides as well. If you want to know more about um, the guides that got me started in Albion Online. This too, this uh, second and third video, very important. Watch this if you want to use the table RRC. But scroll down some more. These are the methods. If you are a new player, watch these. And this literally made me... Um, enabled me to buy a mammoth, actually. So yeah, birdstonetv.com, your best friend. And if you have any any questions, really, feel free to send me a Discord Discord message, and I will um, answer it as soon as I can. Is theory cleric row profitable, Sir Burn? Ooh, I like that, Sir Burn. <laughs> Ryan, tier eight flat. Okay, so right now with the calculator that I have, um, the gear crafting calculator that I have can cater to flat items so four flat five flat six flat blah 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 so if you're asking me right now it's your eight cleric road it's your eight cleric road flat here's what you need to do let's head over to one of these squares let's just use the armor right now because it's a cleric road you say tier eight right just key in the usage fee now one of the questions that i am getting is like what usage fee should i put it's basically the usage fee that you see when you are crafting right here not the one that you see right here, right? Not the total one. Only usage fee that has been uh, updated by um, SBI. So basically, the fee per 100 nutrition. So let's say it's 230, right? Obviously, it's not going to be 230. But let's say it's uh, in Limhurst, I believe they're like 1750. I don't know. But <clears throat> the return rate. The return rate always needs to have a percentage sign. And I know in some countries, like their dot, so let's say 37.2, their dot is actually a comma for other countries. This one, it needs to be a dot, a point. So let's say you're crafting in a city where there is a 24%, 24.8% return rate. Blah, 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 put key in the values. Let's say, um, a tier 8 cloth, I'm not really familiar with the price, but let's say it's, um, I don't know, 20k. 20k each, and you need 16 of those. <clears throat> Hopefully this um, updates. If it doesn't update, just hit refresh. Sometimes it's a little, it's a little slow, because the website needs to communicate with a Google Sheet. The Google Sheet needs to communicate with another Google Sheet, but this should update. Put in the sell price over here, the price that you want to sell it at, and you will know if it will give you profit or not. Let's try to refresh. <clears throat> Gear calculator. There you go. It up did it update? It didn't? What? Hmm, I may need to look at look into this. Why is it not updating as fast as I, as I want it to? Give me just one sec. Let me just look at the original. Oh, it did. I think it actually did. It actually did, yeah. It actually did. It actually did. So it actually did update. It's just that it's too high. 
I was saying the value was like too high and too close to the previous um, previous value. So it did update. I uh, just hit refresh. It did. And let's say you want to sell it for I don't know how much a tier eight like um, robe sells right now, but let's say it's 300k and sell it for 300k. So it will actually um, update here that you will get 51,000 um, silver for that for that one piece. Let's give this let's give this one a sec. It actually did update. It did update on the original one, but yeah, I have everything correctly set. So this is on Google side because I have one like all of this is connected to another Google Sheet. And the original Google Sheet has updated instantaneously. So this is on Google side. Yeah, just wait for it. But this is um, accurate. So, you know. There you go. It updated. 17%. You get 17%, but you get 51,000 per, per item. So that's how the calculator works. Just give it some time. Sometimes, you know, it's uh, Google is, um, they're processing a lot. And since two Google Sheets are connected, so yeah, just uh, be patient, hit refresh if you, uh, if it doesn't update. I think I'm so far off the point. Um, is Arch good for gathering and crafting? Yeah, Arch is really good arch is really really good because as i say you have access to all of these hideouts like across smart lock some of them are in bridge watch as well i'm not familiar with the bridge watch but some of them are in, most of them are in mart lock you have access to like most <laughs> most of the zones you have hideouts there but yeah it's uh it's really cool um in terms of gathering since most of the players in Marklock are in Arch, I mean, not most, but a lot of players are in Mar in Marklock. And less PKs in the Black Zone, um, safer gathering in the Black Zone. Still, there is still a risk, but still safer. When it comes to usage fees, like, I'm assuming most of the plots, since they know Arch is a huge guild, they want to put them as an associate there's a lot of benefits to archman and if you're a zvz player archph and the main arch has always been like very active in zvz's ah. I don't actually have tier fours. Oh, that's interesting, huh? I don't have tier fours. Not a lot. All right, let me just get all of this again. Yes, if you have any more money-making questions, let me know. This is basically what we do here. It's a, it's an open class. It's an open online class for. I'll be an online. Don't be late. Oh, this is a class that you can be late. Still ask questions. This is a class where you can be late and you'll still be welcomed by the professor. With open arms. As long as you click ads. <laughs> as long as you click ads. Okay. Vin says, I don't know why other zones where Escalation RV is located. No other guilds put their hideouts uh, there. Even... Though they can benefit from it because of the crafting bonus, maybe because of dominance. Um, you actually cannot just put your own hideout anywhere because hideouts can be destroyed, and most of these big guilds and most uh, big alliances don't want to share their zones because they're they fought for it really hard to get control over this zone. Some I'm not really sure, but last year. 
you can sort of rent you can rent island or you can rent hideouts meaning let's say let's go to one of the one of these big guilds all right sunfang wasteland you can some in some guilds and some alliance they allow you to place hideouts in their zones for a fee per day um one of the experiences greenshore bear greenshore bay greenshore bay uh, this was one of the island one of the uh, zones that we had a hideout when we were like back in pinoy matika so like a year almost two years ago actually we played we literally placed it here of course greenshore bay the map changed but we put it in the west corner. We were paying Elevate back then 1 million per day. We were paying 1 million silver per day to Elevate via Tribute to be able to have access in that zone. So I don't know if they still do that. Like 1 million per day nowadays is like really nothing for these big, big alliance and big guilds. So, I don't know, but you can't just put a hideout. You have to defend your hideout because they can easily destroy it. Yeah, someone, you can't really, I can't really control that crypt. Someone will try to put in like wrong values or maybe they're just, maybe they're not guided well enough that they put in wrong values. That's why. Uh, I will ping those who are willing to be notified on my Discord channel when I update the calculator. So if you want to um, be notified when I update the table RRC, I'll do it probably a couple times a day. Um, get the calculator roll. Just... Um, Tag me or go to the correct text channel. Go to the correct text channel and um, I'll give you the role. Master, what's up, buddy? Um, have you gotten your flo flower, flower buy orders? I'm so far out, dude. What is the best way to earn money without focus and premium? Damien. Great question, buddy. Go to burnstonetv.com. Uh, this is for Damien. Go to burnstonetv.com. Click on money making guides. Money making guides. Watch the second and third video. So the ultimate money making guide and the legendary calculator. Watch this. Both of this. And click on the calculator. <clears throat> And you should be able to see this, the resource refining calculator, literally the same calculator that I used um, that enabled me to buy a mammoth. So yeah, do that. If you have uh, questions uh, after watching those videos, send me a Discord message and uh, we'll try to figure it out. Does Mascara still fame farm or focused already in ZVZs? Um, not really familiar with... Um, their day-to-day -day activities, although I am part of Pascara, not really part of their day-to-day -day activities. I join ZVZs every now and then. Um, I do believe they have fame farming, but I'm not really sure if this guild is like suitable for new players. Although, if you want to join a guild, uh, there is one in the description. Click the link in the description below. Um, I do believe... I have a link there. <clears throat> Let me just double check. Join. Um, what do you need to join? Join. Yeah. It says join here. I should probably change that, right? Join. Join Templar's Order. Join Templar's Order because. I believe they're probably more um, newbie friendly, new player friendly. 
Yeah, join. Join Templar's order. Link is in the description. So, Damien, hopefully, I answered your question. And I do apologize for it being delayed. I just want to read all of the comments and all of the questions by other players. So, yeah. Go to burstotv.com. Money making guides. Watch the videos. Use the calculator. And let's make more silver together, guys. Like, obviously, this is not true, right? So use the template rrc table rrc template edit on those copy paste or maybe wait for me to update the calculator because i will update it every now and then i'm a, i'm planning right now twice a day but we'll see good night kent it's okay cats good night good night i appreciate you being here We'll do more tomorrow. <clears throat> I think. Newbie friend is Yamping. <laughs> there you go. Rakid is still watching. Fame Prime every day lead me Yamping. So there you go. Um, I haven't seen any fame farming sleepy though. But yeah. I would I know I'm sort of like betraying my guild, but I want to I want to share I want you to have the best experience in the game. If you're a Filipino, you know, mascara Arch BH. Like mascara, definitely one of the best guilds to join. Um, our main content is just me, son. <laughs> Fame farming. But yeah, we mostly do ZVZs. There's a lot of guilds out there. So go join Templar's Order. Link is in the description as well. Knows where this went wrong. Okay. So if you have any other money making questions, guys, or questions in general, let me know. I'll be working on a video today. Uh, will be published hopefully tomorrow. Dude, I had a lot of profit in this one video. Like, I don't know if you can see this. You can't, but... I had a lot of profit, bro. Like, insane amounts of profit. Just because I knew that when the usage fee in that specific um, city changed, and in another city there's a lower usage fee, I knew that I can make a lot of profit, but holy crud, I was I was surprised on how effective it was. Obviously I used the calculator and I saw you know an estimated percentage profit. But holy crud, when that percentage profit was converted into silver, it's a lot. A lot, a lot. Sold in Carolyon, silver. Oh see, Vince, a Rin, I think. Who asked the question? Like where when do I sell? Who asked that question? I forgot about it. Let's buy potato salad before we go. Maybe you has already answered this, but may I ask why refine multiple RRS instead of focusing one? Alright, I'm assuming you're asking me why am I I'm assuming the question was Why am I refining multiple types of resources rather than focusing one? That goes back to your initial question where I think you were the one who asked or said that tier 4 actually has low profits. Alright? I think you asked why I'm doing tier 4 when it has low profits. And my answer was demand, right? The answer was demand. And it's sort of the same answer to your question in a different way. It's because if I focus on one low tier, I would be building up the supply in that specific um, specific tier and specific resource. And if you have a lot of supply, similar demand, prices will go down. 
So what I'm doing is since I know I can supply a lot, I am dividing them into different, uh, dividing that supply into different um, resources. So I can maintain a flat supply, flat demand. When the demand spikes, the price spikes, I have that, um, I have that flexibility of what to sell in uh, in Carillion. I have that flexibility. Okay, the lead, price of the leather, tier four leather went up. I have supplies of tier four leather. I can take advantage of that price spike, something like that. So everything is very strategic, guys. Nothing is random in in whatever that I'm doing right now. Nothing is random. Everything has a purpose. Everything is very strategically maintained. I'll lose three. I was doing a little math in my head. I will lose three. Okay. And after this, we'll refine this tier four. And since I am selling some leathers here and there, work leather actually. Ooh, <laughs> these guys, these guys who are buying leathers, they know what's up. They're buying leathers in Garleon. They know what's up. <clears throat> the price chart. All right, Crypt. Let's answer Crypt's uh, question. The price chart. Okay, so when you're looking at when you're looking at the prices, so let's say block. Let's look at blocks. All right. So the first thing that you want to do if you're using the calculator, you're probably here right now. Like refined resources. What are the refined resource prices? So in Bridgewatch, it says 88 and 60. This was the last time. Right now, if I'm going to update it, I'm going to update it as 91, not 90. So the general idea is that put the value of the lowest sell order into the calculator. Now in this one, the lowest sell order is 90, but you can't really say it's 90 because there's only 33 amount. When players are buying blocks, they are, they are not buying just 1, 2, 3, 10. They're buying in bulk. When they're buying directly from the market, they're buying in bulk. The last hour, 16,000 tier 3 blocks were sold in Bridgewatch. So, 16,000. So they're not really buying hundreds, they're buying thousands. So the next thing that you want to see or look at <clears throat> is a resistance. The the amount that I'm trying to look at, look for is the first 999. So 999, as you can see here, there's a lot of 999 here, priced at 91. So we'll call that a resistance. We'll change the value of block, block 3 and bridge watch to 91. Block 4, uh, let's look at the resistance, 58, 59. This is very, very straightforward. So this, um, the value here is 59. Boom. Let's try to go block 3. The charts, looking at the charts. Basically for these specific ones, you see 91 as a resistance, right? You don't really need to look at these. As long as you see the average price is 90 for the past 24 hours, your um, resistance is at 91. So you're good. Sell at 90. Uh, let's say, oh, okay. Always sell one silver less than the resistance. What I mean by that is resistance is 91. So we put 91 there, but the calculator is actually designed to um, designed to know that you are going to sell one silver less than the resistance. So you're going to sell at 90. Let's uh, do resource. Actually, let's do resource. And let's look at maybe, I don't know, bars. Let's do bars. 108 and okay that's very interesting all right let's do bars 108 and it's a value here now for bar 4 what is going to be the resistance here as you can see if you scroll down 165 166 there's sort of low value right or low amount 
and you look down the first resistance that you see at 999 is 168 and the average price that this was um, getting sold at is 162 and if you scroll back down you see 169 there are two 999s here so I would say 168 is the resistance so even if it's saying 165 is the lowest sell order I will put 168 over here to make it um, accurate. Now this calculator, obviously not this one, um, <clears throat> this calculator lights up green to those who, um, uh, the values are green if they are the most valuable uh, set or valuable cell. So this just means if you see a cross here, like mostly green for logs meaning you can buy <clears throat> the cheapest and the greens cheapest log three here cheapest oh i need to uh, redo this cheapest um here cheapest here blah 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 right but for the refined resources you can sell it a uh, highest at the greens and I'll show you the percentage profit. So if this is accurate, focus on tier three blocks. Next one will be tier three planks. Next one would be tier three bars in terms of percentage profit. Hopefully you absorb some information. <laughs> Hopefully you absorb some information in that um, blah, blah, blah. But again, if you have specific questions about the calculator, if you have specific questions about my methods, feel free to send me a, um, a Discord message or ask your questions here. <clears throat> that actually sort of drained me. <laughs> Hopefully you understood. Kyun! What's up, Kim? Again, to those who are new, we have a calculator, burnstonetv.com. Click on the calculator right here. And if you want to support the stream, if you want to support burnstonetv.com, either be a sponsor or click an ad. Every ad click gets me 10 cents. That will help me uh, maintain the calculator and uh, make more in the future. You finally know how to sell your stuff. There you go. Congratulations, bud. Now you'd be more comfortable and more confident selling your items. You literally rewatched the stream twice. <laughs> but I'm glad. I'm glad that you finally understood how the calculator works, how to sell your. Um, how to sell your refined resources because you want to maximize you want to maximize your your profits and also one of the things though i'll just uh hit refine one more time one of the things though that i created in this uh, albion online calculator specifically for resource refining is when the prices are just if there's a price spike and i know that price that price spike won't be sustained Actually, scroll to the right. There is a stability, um, stability um, column over here, and scroll over to the right. It shows you what are like the the meaning of these tags. So let's see. This is unstable. Let's say what is unstable. Block four, tier four blocks. I consider this unstable because it sells very low in bridge watch although very high in thetford so this means this price this may just be a price spike that may be unsustainable what i mean by that is that you can see you may be able to see this 98 you'll be like oh this is a great price this is a great price spike but because of how unstable this is it may mean you may sell your um, block 4 in bulk at 97 silver each and 
that may not be even close to the average price in like the seven days or twenty-four, or yeah, seven days or twenty-four hours that you may be stuck with your sell orders at ninety-seven when the prices eventually flatten out. So use these as guidelines. Shaky is okay. Shaky is um this one. Sell at one fifty-nine two one two. This may be a price spike, but since it is closer to other values, you can still sell it. But if in like three days you don't sell it, you can uh, replace the sell orders. So hopefully those um, guides, those sort of techniques, advanced techniques actually, uh, help you, you know, in your selling. Because I've been doing this for two years, I've seen it all. Um, I know some advanced techniques that you need to know when it comes to selling. Because you don't want to be stuck, especially when you're when you're starting in this game uh, using this method. You don't want to be stuck with your sell orders for like I don't know, like a week because someone has placed buy orders or sell orders lower than your sell order. So hopefully that helped a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, are higher tier items or lower tier items better for focus crafting? For focus, when you're using focus, use it on higher tiers. Use it on higher tiers. Don't use it on tier 3, tier 4. Maybe use it at tier 5, but definitely use it at tier 6. So yeah, don't use focus on tier 3, tier 4. It's not worth it. Yeah, there you go. Uh, any more questions? Any more advanced techniques you want to um, Any more live um, live techniques? Advanced techniques you want to know? Any clarifications? Maybe you watched another YouTube video and you want my take on it? Let me know. Hmm. Ooh. I want to um, create. I'm going to create a video today. A lot of videos. Flashy Flash, welcome to the stream. And to those who are new, burnstonetv.com, make sure that you... There are too many ads. Why are there too many ads? I'll fix that. There you go. Use the calculator, man. This will literally make you a lot of silver. And it's free. That's a good thing about it. There, there's no more um, paywall. It's completely free. Bless, best glove build as a starter. I'm so sorry. I'm not a PvP guy. <laughs> I probably am the worst at PvP. So I'm so sorry. But there are a lot of other YouTubers out there, man. Like... Probably, I would say like 90% of them are PvP players. I'm not. I wish I was. I wish I was a PvP player, but I'm not.
What if there are too many supply of a certain item? I already refined it, so I'm stuck with it and wait until it, sell, it sells to reinvest. Um, sometimes you have to take you have to take lower profits, man. When when that happens, when you're like stuck and you can't do anything else, you have to take lower profits. Take the lower profits, get your silver back, and then take advantage of the new um, resource that has high profits. Don't try to be like, oh, I need to get this at specific um, percentage profit because it's what uh, the calculator showed me a week ago. Prices changes in prices change in Albion almost all the time. Actually, all the time. So if you see there's a lower profit, just take it. If you take advantage of take advantage of the resource that has high profits. What is this guy doing? Is he following me? Can you share the link? I want to make some silver. Um, it's birdstonetv.com. It's in, it's in the description. Head over to birdstonetv.com. Yeah, it is in the description. Click the, click the link in the description. Yeah, it's, uh, it literally is the first link in the description. It says uh, free money making calculators. All right, I think I want to sell in Carillion. Ooh, yeah, I definitely need to sell in Carillion. I'll take advantage of that. All right, give me just one moment, por favor. You can probably put everything here. I'll park my park. I'll park my uh, my mammoth bank to billionaire. Yep. I'll park my mammoth in bridge watch. I'm going to sell some um, leathers. Oh yeah, I need to sell the leathers. Dude, I have a lot of tier 3, bro. I literally have what? 33? I have 33 million worth of resources. Ready to be transported. How many hours of refining did you do to buy a mammoth? Hours, I'm not sure, but it took me a month to get 40 million. It took me a month to get 40 million. So we're sort of close. You said you made 5 million in 4 days. So our rate was actually sort of close. The main difference is just that mammoths caught cost an arm and a leg now. I don't know how many hours, man. I did not count because... To me, it was necessary. Some steel bar. What's steel bar? Steel bar is tier 4, right? Alright, sell so bars and... Bars and... Okay, okay got it. Bars and uh, leather. Bars and leather, ladies and gents. Oh. Ah! What's... What's that? Can't transit travel to... Carillion with this. Right, we're good. I need to sell leather and bars. Leather and bars. Leather and bars. Did you do risky stuff between refining? What do you mean risky stuff? What? Did you do risky stuff be between refining? Like PVPs? Yeah, I did. I only did um, refining when I had when I was like waiting for my guildmates to uh, go online, waiting for some content. 
while you know waiting for them to gear up. I did some refining. What's the biggest change in the new patch? Nothing that I'm concerned about. <laughs> it's all just some um, weapon weapon changes. Nothing too massive when it comes to like money making. <sighs> bars. I think we need bars. Okay. I think we need bars. We need to sell bars. <clears throat> What's the passion dual sword? Uh, the dual sword was buff. I just skimmed through it because there were there weren't anything that I was really interested in. Even the items that I used weren't really changed. Ooh, look at that price spike. Two thirty-five. Two thirty-five nine. Give me just one sec. Let me just update the profit. <laughs> so that gave me. 800k profit. <clears throat> ah, there you go. Attack speed buff. There you go. <clears throat> dual swords. If you have specs in dual swords, <clears throat> go do it. The only thing that I don't like when um, when relying on patches. I mean, yeah, you can still you can still make a lot of silver, right? A lot of silver when when you're taking advantage of those of those uh, changes in buffs. But at the same time, if you don't have that specs already, you're sort of missing out. But if you sell to the black market, though, like the black the black market demand is so consistent. You'll still stay. You will still make a lot of money. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. All right, three hundred eight. Three hundred eight is a good price. Yeah, I'm not underselling myself. So three hundred eight. Three hundred eight for eight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I sold it for the same price. Okay, that netted me one million. So that's that was one million. Let me see. If... What? Someone actually bought all of the steel bars and bronze bars for some reason. Oh, bronze bars. All right, someone bought like all of the bronze bars. Let's see if we have bronze bars. I don't think we'll have we have a lot. Bronze bars, a lot of bronze bars left. See what I mean? People buy in bulk, <laughs> especially in Carleon. <clears throat> Let's see, if we have tier three bars. Tier three bars. We don't. Oh, that's so sad. Let's see, if we need to sell cloth. I need to make 10 million more. Rookie is going crazy. Can you explain how to use the calculator? Um, there are tutorials. Nachi. Or is that Nachi? Oh no, it's Swarup. 
scroll down, buddy. Scroll down. The tuto all the, tuto the tutorials that you need is all there. I created a video for it, so yeah. Do we need cloth? Nope. We don't need cloth. Alright. Alright. Just uh, take what the market gives you. Take what the market gives you. The... The, but the problem is that elite gankers are active in the red zones. Yeah. Elite gankers are only dangerous if you're solo transporting. They're not really... They're not really difficult to beat if you have like a fair fight. They're not really difficult to beat because of their... It's not because they're bad at PvP. No, I'm not saying that. Um, because their gears are for ganking. They have single target um, gears, so that doesn't really. It's not really go well with um, small fights. So if you're. If the elite gankers are like five, and you two have five, five guards, let's say, and your five guards are built with for small scale fights, you can easily beat them. Easily, actually. As long as, of course. You have the PvP skills. <laughs> as long as you have the PvP skills. Thick leather, steel bar. They're very active today, huh? People are buying a lot in the Carolian market. Uh, this uh, been pretty good. Thank you for asking, Soru. How's your day? Making a lot of progress when it comes to um, our money making here. So, I have a full day ahead of me. I'm going to create a video today. Hopefully, publish it by tomorrow at 9 a.m. So, you guys have a new video to watch. Oh, actually, I'm not going to publish tomorrow. I'm going to publish the method on my website tomorrow. So, complete with like screenshots, complete with calculations on an article tomorrow. So if you want to take advantage of that, um, join my Discord channel. I will notify you when the method is up on the website. But I will record the video and complete the video today. But I will upload it in two days. Two days after I publish it on my website. So that's sort of... Um, that is sort of going to be... That's going to give you an advantage if... You know my website, if you're part of my Discord channel, that will be an advantage because... Oh, I can still craft more. It's going to be an advantage because you will find out about the method first. So I guess we're just crafting blocks today. You'll find out, the, you'll find out about the quest uh, method first, how I did it, how to do it, where to do it. Where to sell, blah blah blah. You'll uh, find it, find about it, find out about it first, and then I'll publish it to YouTube a couple of days after. So join the Discord channel, get the Albion role, get the calculator role as well if you want to be updated when I update the calculator. Uh, so I found uh, the channel. I just found this channel. It's interesting. All the best. Hope you achieve your goals very soon. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Swaru. Appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate your kind words, bud. Metadwen, what's up? Ooh, welcome to the stream. Need to pee. I've been sitting in this chair for like two hours straight. <clears throat> Alright, I'll do... Alright, pop, 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 and I'll go... I'll go pee after a couple of refinings. Alright, again, join the Discord channel. I will be publishing probably an article tonight. I am going to publish it tonight. I'm going to work all day today, full schedule. Um, I'll create the video as well, but that will be uploaded probably Wednesday so that those who are part of my Discord channel and are aware of the burnstonetv.com website sort of has an advantage and then 
I'll publish it to um, everyone on YouTube. And hopefully they join the Discord channel as well. So for the next method, they will be notified as well. So we'll see. And big profits. I don't... I don't... I don't... Let's see. You cannot see. You cannot see. But basically, like, all of this, like, sales. There's a lot of profit. Uh, hey, bro, is it necessary to use salad for refining? Not really. <laughs> Not really, because it doesn't change um, the quality of the refined material. The only way, the only reason why I use salads for refining is to speed up the refining process. And if you saw one of my videos where it says, "Is is this broken?" It's one of the things that um, actually I was afraid of or I was hesitant on using a salad then because I know I'm going to refine a lot and I know that per refining it will take me more than two minutes and it wouldn't take advantage of the speed buff of the potato salad but it turns out as long as this specific bar is still on and you have you had the effect of a potato salad even if it ended it will still maintain that speed so it's definitely a you know great advantage for me because I am refining a crap ton of resources per day so yeah if you are going to craft a lot and I mean a lot a lot it's uh, beneficial for you to use a uh, potato salad just just salad don't go crack and just go salad I'll go pee if you have any questions leave it there leave it in the comment section I'll be back in about two minutes All right, here we go. Th uh, thank you so much for uh, joining us, Script. Yeah, go sleep, man. Your goal is to buy a Mammy this month. Ah, oh, I will need a lot of effort on your end. But yeah. I'm sure you can do it. I'm sure you can do it. Just, um... Follow the methods, use the calculator. If those who are new, this is the calculator that we're talking about. And if this has, uh, if this calculator has benefited you, if you think the calculator is worth 10 cents to you, click an ad. If it, uh, it's worth, you think a dollar to you, click 10 ads. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, one way to support the channel, either be a sponsor or clicking ads. Just don't spam click though. Just don't spam click. If it, uh, if the calculator helped you, you know, click an ad. If you think uh, you, the benefit that was given to you was worth ten cents. All right, let's see. I think I missed one question. Uh huh. Oh my God, Vince is just winning. The gamble all. Just don't gamble all every time because one one losing gamble all 
command. One loss in the gamble all command will uh, get you to zero. <laughs> will bring you back down to zero. Hi, when upgrading building or when upgrading or building buildings, do you just buy the furniture or craft it? I just buy them. To be honest, there's not really a lot of benefits when it comes to just crafting it your own. I would rather just buy it because I would rather just buy all of the resources, all of the tables, all the furnitures needed for a building because I have a better purpose for that building or for that, um, yeah, for that uh, specific plot, specific building. The, the idea there is make money off of those buildings rather than save money and then um, delay your progress with that main purpose of that building. So just buy it, directly buy it from directly buy it from the market. <clears throat> All right, Vince, appreciate it, buddy. We'll see you. Uh, we'll probably see you tomorrow. I'll stream tomorrow too. All this refining, do you take advantage of it and fill diaries, generalist, or is it not profitable? Generalist is not profitable. Zero benefits with generalists if you're not using it for like, I don't know, for, for plots or for laborers. I don't think generalist even is beneficial for... Um, it's not beneficial really, the generalist, the generalist uh, journals, it really is not. So don't waste, don't waste your time or your effort or your money there. When you're finding, you basically don't need any journals, not really. All right. I think I think we should be able to finish this. Ah, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I only need nine, ten. I actually need just ten. All right, I only need ten, and let's just go ahead and refine all of this, and we should be good for the day. All right. Hard work. <clears throat> this stream is addicting. <laughs> uh, Crypt, just go to sleep. Go to sleep. I'll be here tomorrow. We'll talk more tomorrow. We'll talk more tomorrow. I'll answer more of your questions tomorrow. Sleep. Sleep is better than the stream, man. <laughs> But I appreciate, I appreciate your, um, I, I really do appreciate your dedication to like learning all about my money making method. I haven't had anyone, if Crip, if you're still here, I haven't had anyone ask me so many questions, but so many right questions about my money making method. You know, first, I've been doing this for two years and you're literally the first one who are, who are asking the right questions. Who I feel like wants to learn, really learn about the entire money making method um, template that I've created, and I really appreciate it. It's um, it's good to be sharing like this knowledge to a person who actually is doing the method and having a lot of success doing the method. It's really good. Appreciate it. I probably appreciate it more than you appreciate my answers. <laughs> Because I haven't had anyone like ask me like these specific questions. I've been doing it for two years. Uh, Payel, hello buddy. I'm 700 over 700 uh, food crafter. How can I increase my profits now? Um, I'm assuming since you have 500, 700, 700, meaning do you want to increase your profit 
in food crafting still because I have a calculator called food crafting food calculator here go to birdstonetv.com click the calculator and click on the food calculator over here and here you can actually um, find out how you can make more um, silver using or be smarter you can be smarter when it comes to making more silver using food crafting these are just the normal food though this is what i call a normal food and yes i am going to work in, a, in next week i'm going to work on the other food as well but these are the normal food for now since you have 700 uh, specs so you basically can just use focus here and take advantage of um, the most profitable food out there. You may be, I'm sure you're very experienced when it comes to food crafting and what to sell, where to sell, blah, blah, blah. But this may give you um, a more detailed um, look on how the calculator or how the food crafting works in terms of percentage profits, sort of like basically profits. You may be better off using focus on one food, one type of food rather than the other. So it just gives you a better tool and hopefully uh, it helps you with your silver making cooking thingy mabob. Where should I sell low tier blocks? I think you... I answered this earlier. I think you were the one who asked the question. Were you not? Just um, go to each city, man. Go to each city. Take off all of your gear. Take off all... Um, bank all of your inventory. Go to each city. Look at the prices for each city for like tier 3 blocks or tier 4 blocks. Take note of it maybe on this calculator or just download the template. And see where you can sell it the highest. That's basically it. There is no one specific city each day that you can sell to uh, that will give you like consistent prices because the prices in Albion Online always change, always. <clears throat> Let's see, do you play Lords Mobile? Uh, no, I did actually. I did play Lords Mobile, I uh, believe like three years ago. And that was because I wanted to get an in-game currency for another game. So, I was working really hard on Lords, Lords Mobile so I can get in-game currency for another game. One thing I do, as I don't have much time and I don't even have a mammoth, is to buy full journals and resell them. I make a reasonable profit. Ah! Yeah. Buying full journals and transporting them? You mean? Are you transporting them from one city to another? Because I did that. I tried to do that. Um, the, I tried to do that. There were some profits, but not a lot. But yeah, there is still some profits. Do you mean buying a empty journal, filling it up and reselling them? Or buying filled journals from one city and transporting them to another? Congratulations, Eds. Congratulations, bud. Um... All right, but yeah, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask me. Still have around 30 minutes. I'm getting a bit hungry. I'm getting a little bit hungry. Um, actually, is it good to invest all your money? Is it good to invest all your money in resource refining up to tier five? You tier four.
required, required, no focus required. And let me just share the video before I forget. Let me share the video to this person. Okay, should be good, should be good. Sending a friend request, same guy. All right. Example, I buy full diary for 12k at Bridgewatch, selling them for 16 in Thetford. I shop all over the Royal City. Ah, oh, since you already do that, uh, Bruno. Uh, okay, I mean, that, that makes sense. Like 4k per journal, that makes sense. That's 400k, journals don't really weigh much. Yeah. Since you're already transporting, man. Oh, okay, so you're probably using just a fast mount, probably a boar. Yeah, that's a very good, uh, very solid money-making method out, money-making there. Yeah, because there's not a lot of... I mean, there are some players who uses journals a lot, especially big players. Yeah, that's a very good money-making method. I know someone who trades trinkets, basically transporting um, trinkets from one place to another. That's a very good method. It's um, it's uh, what we call market flipping. I would say related to what we do here because. Everything that we do is just take advantage of um, take advantage of the market market differences. And I actually created um let me let me open that up. I created where's the person? I created an article sort of similar about it. Sort of similar. Go to money making basics. After you go to money making basics, uh, scroll all the way down to Albin online markets. It's actually I showed uh, an example here. The example that I showed was rough stone, meaning, um, what did I say here? There's like 20% profit. Basically, I talked about um, transport transporting from one city to another because of the unique Albion online markets. So it's sort of similar. Sort of similar there. It's yeah, it's basically market flipping. And there's a lot of items that you can flip in Albion Online. A lot. And it's because of how they were how um Albion is designed. The Albion markets I mean. How the Albion markets are designed. Pretty interesting to be honest. Pretty interesting. That's the that's sort of the backbone of the calculator. That's the backbone of the calculator, and that's the backbone of my money-making methods. Yeah, yeah, dude. Keep grinding, man. Keep grinding. Ah, uh, you don't have time. You don't have time to do it. That's true. Any PB solo money making method? Um, solo money making method? Solo dungeons, man. Solo dungeons PBE. Gathering is uh, PBE. So, gathering is uh, actually really profitable. Especially the high tier. Yeah, selling to the black market, man really easy let me show you one let me show you one method right now if you're just if you just if you don't want to like uh buy raw resources refine them to refine resources transport them to another city craft them and then sell them to the black market you can bypass the entire first first part and just buy directly from the marketplace let me show you one of my favorites one of my absolute favorites. Give me just one sec. I'll be back.
Sorry about that. Um, let me show you one of my um, most favorite favorite um, item to item to transport. Okay, so this tier three bag sells for around twenty eight hundred. Sells for about twenty eight hundred in the Carillion market. Twenty eight hundred, and it sells a lot. It needs a lot. So if you buy a journeyman's bag for 1700 let's just say 1700 so you buy more of it 1700 sell it to the carillion mark or so the black market for 2800 that's 1100 per 1100 per bag and if you buy 1000 of that that's 1 million already that's 1 million profit already from just buying directly buying mind you Directly buying from the market, this is the Limhurst market, and the, and uh, selling to the black market. Tier three bag. Another is the tier three cape, dude. Tier three cape. This is even like more profitable. Let me check my prices. The one that I uh, got yesterday. This is selling for fourteen hundred, around fourteen hundred, fifteen hundred per, fifteen hundred per. So if you buy. This is obviously going to be cheaper. Let's say 950. So that means 500. Let's just say 500, um, 500 silver profit per item. And if you buy 2,000 of these, just two stacks, the same weight as 1,000 bags, that's another million, man. That's another million. It's so freaking easy, bro. It is so freaking easy. Although, of course, there's risk. You can get ganked. But that's just from one city, and based on um, what I remember, bags in Carillon they need like hundreds, three hundreds per hour, so hundreds per hour. So if you just do that, you'll be golden, man. <laughs> you won't have any any issues with silver. Those are just the you know the little tips that you um. You need to know. These are transports. Right? Very, very easy. Where do I live? No, I'm not using VPNs. I am currently in Canada. So... Closer to... Closer to the thingamabob. All right, building claim. Okay. All right, let me. Actually, let me finish that. Let me craft a couple here. Uh, yeah. Let me craft a couple of tier threes, and I'll probably end the stream. Probably craft all of these tier threes, and then let's end the stream. We have. Oh, we have twenty minutes left. We have twenty minutes left on the stream. So, if you have more questions let me know or forever hold your peace until tomorrow because i will be back tomorrow <clears throat> there we go take advantage of that man take advantage of that very easy too like nothing has to be complicated in this game really like some players or some some players who uh, upload videos as well make it too complicated, man. Like I watched a video, or not really an entire video, but I watched a video yesterday saying 90 million profit. Well, it is true. Technically, it is still true. But one of my biggest um, pet peeves in this, when it comes to like money making, other player, other people doing money making. And I'm, I'm a little bit guilty about this too, just a little bit. Is that most of the players, if not all, that are watching or try to search for money making videos are new players. So, yeah, I, I sort of get it. I sort of get it because some of, some of these players are also not new anymore. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, I guess I sort of get it now. Because, but most of the players that are searching for money making videos are new players. So giving them an option, giving them a like super safe option should be the priority, at least for me. Giving them super safe options as they start off their money making journey should be the priority for for anyone who's making videos. But I guess eventually, you know, eventually you will, as a creator, you will run out of safe methods. So you do have to venture out of the safe method and cater to those who have been following you for a while. I guess it makes sense. Yeah, I take it back. <laughs> take it. I take it back. I guess that's, that that makes sense. Yeah, you need a scout when you're transporting um, from once through the red zone. Have a scout with you. Like, get a couple of friends to scout for you, you know? And um, if you don't have a guild, join Templar's Order. Their Discord is in, in the description, so join that. <laughs> join their guild. Pretty cool guild, to be honest. Doesn't matter if you're new, veteran, returning, doesn't really matter as long as you're not toxic or no drama, they will accept you with open arms. So join join their Discord, let them know Burnstone sent ya. Burnstone TV sent ya. How to find a safer route to Carillion? Actually, a safe route to the Carillion, there's no really safe route, right? Because you're going through the red zone. You need to go through the red zone in order to go to Carillion. But some of the players actually use Avalonian Roads. Avalonian Roads can be um, sometimes a lot, sometimes safer than the red zones. Because of the limited players that can go through the Avalonian Road. Can you tell me if it's better to craft them? From, from CTA or HCE? Uh, what do you mean, Bruno? Bruno says, I have one. Can you tell me if it's better to craft item from CTA or HCE? Oh, okay, so you mean craft items for CTA or HCE. If those are the only two options that you have, I would rather go with CTA. HCE, especially for like high level players we need masterpiece items and you can only get masterpiece items if you have high specs or if you're like really lucky or if you use like a 0.3 kraken salad which i don't recommend but for zvz's um some of these guilds or most of these guilds would buy like good quality zvz gear outstanding quality even normal quality as long as they can uh, save some money so if you're just choosing between CTA or HCE gears, I would rather go with CTA, which means just ZVZ. But if you want to bulk sell, go with um, low tier armor sets then. Low tier armor sets sell them to the black market. It's a lot of profit to be made there. Uh, what is the stones in the game? Uh, it's basically for you guys to use while watching the stream. Um, CH, read the description below. Those are the commands that you can use your stones on. Basically, do something. Um, it's basically a mini game while you are watching the stream. I have another question. What do I craft in food line for profit? Says Sarthak. Sarthak, good question. Go to birdsotv.com. Go to birdsotv.com. Click on the calculator. And scroll down and head over to food calculator. We have a food calculator. This calculator, calculator basically um, calculates the percentage profit that you will get when you uh, when you are crafting food. 
and depending on where you're crafting, blah, blah, blah. And if you want to know how to use this calculator, there's actually a food calculator here. Scroll down, watch this video. This is a food calculator um, tutorial video. Watch that and it will tell you, show you how to use the calculator. And if you have more questions after watching that, you know, send me a message through Discord. Uh, Bruno asks, I have another question. Are the stores you use at Royal... Are the stores you use at Royals all from Crafters Work Hard? Yes! I partnered up with Crafters Work Hard. Um, anyone who wants to get great associate rates in Albion Online when you're refining, cooking, crafting, potion crafting, what have you. Crafters Work Hard have them all. So go in the description below. Click the descript click the link in the description below. It should say join Crafters Work Hard, get associate fees on city plots. Join their Discord channel and you know save a lot of silver when you're um, using using plots. Hello, yeah, I'm back, buddy. Been back for like two weeks. Where have you been? Now we have ten minutes, so ask your questions now or forever hold your peace until tomorrow. What up, Sarthak? In-game friend? No, I don't. Um, I don't add random players to my friends list because I already have like over 200, I think. And you can only have 300 friends, I believe. And I'm reserving those slots for those players who actually win the giveaways. Speaking of giveaways, click the description. Click the link in the description to join today's giveaway. For beginner, what's the best? For beginners, what's the best things for craft? For beginners, I would say resource refining is your best friend. Low tier resource refining. Okay, here we go. For um, Shiva, Shiva, go to burnstonetv.com, click on money making guides. Once you click money making guides, scroll down, watch the second and third video. So, the second video, the ultimate money making guide. Third video, the legendary calculator. calculator. After watching both videos, Head over to the calculator and you will be presented with the resource you're finding calculator. This is the same calculator that I used to get a mammoth in the game. So yeah, watch those videos, use the calculator and make more money. And if you think the calculator is beneficial for you, if it's worth 10 cents to you, click an ad. Every ad click gets me 10 cents. But if you think it's worth more, you know, click more ads. Just don't spam click and uh, we'll be good to go. You can also be a YouTube sponsor if you want to support BurnstoneTV.com. Um, pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Yes. Pineapple on pizza, yes. Dude, pine pineapple on pizza is really good. It's not as bad as... Um, it's not as bad as... Uh, the social media people says it is. <laughs> it's good. All right, Payel. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow, maybe. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm just um. Consuming all of this turnip salad, and I'll switch over to the potato salad for the next one. I'll probably just do one more, just complete all of the tier 3. And then, um, we'll go from there. And actually, when you click ads, I actually see, like, the results. I get to see, like, okay, someone clicked an ad. 
gets me 10 cents. I do receive a report. So yeah. Click on... Uh, keep on clicking ads, guys. Okay. Eva, thank you so much for subscribing, buddy. Before you go, what time are your lives usually? In UTC time, please. I guess it's it's 16 UTC now, so 14 UTC? I'm usually live at 14 UTC. Yeah, 14 UTC. I'm really hungry though, so I need to go. Ah, uh, okay. It's understandable, Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. Okay, let's do one more. Yeah, let's refine the last bits of those tier 3 and then we'll end the stream. So it's probably like what? 10 more minutes? 10 more minutes and we'll end the stream. Ooh, steel bars. They're flying off the shelves, bro. Wait, what is broadsword? How do you craft broadsword? Or dual sword, actually. Dual sword. Ah, dude. Steel bar and leather. Crypt was right, bro. Crypt was right. Steel bars and leathers. There has been an uptick in um, bars and leathers. Crypt got it right. Crypt got it right. Bars and leathers. Now if I think about it, there was a price spike. Um, there was a price spike earlier. Or actually last night for me. For, um, when it comes to um, bars. Very interesting. It's what I love about Albion, man. Like, every patch, there is going to be a price spike in something, especially if um, it's substantial. So I need to sell all of my leathers and bars then, today. <laughs> what happened? What did Rook say? I wanna see what Rook said. Ah, <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed to say noob. Um, you know, rules are there. Sometimes, you know, rules doesn't make sense to us, but the rules were created because an incident happened. And this incident was like three years ago. Someone was, we were playing Shadowgun War Games, Shadowgun Legends, I believe, and someone just keeps on dissing someone, calling them noobs, so I had to I had to um, ban the word noob. But yeah, I, I apologize about that, Rook. <laughs> um, there, there's a Nightbot. I think my YouTube channel is still connected to Nightbot, and I had a friend who was streaming as well using Nightbot and in his stream the word cheeseburger is bannable but he did not set it up that way he did not he doesn't like he doesn't dislike cheeseburgers he's just the Nightbot had a bug where literally it said when someone says cheeseburger they would literally get muted and there was no way to actually, like, reverse that. I'm gonna do hard refine as soon as I get my exams done. Good luck on your exams, Payel. Good luck on your exams. Oh, everybody sings that to you? <laughs> that was a great movie. That was a great movie, Encanto. That was a really good movie. Alright, we'll uh, finish this refining. Alright, we'll finish this refining and we'll end the stream. Again, just a reminder, go to birdstonetv.com, make this your daily, daily thingy mabob. 
visit it daily. I am going to, um, I am actually going to upload or create a content, create an article to be exact, under Money Making Basics. I will create a article for the money making method that I will upload in a couple of days. So those who are in my, who have joined my Discord channel, they will be pinged. They will get notified when a new money making method has been, um, money making article has been uploaded to my website. They will be, they will be the first to know about the method. And two days after, I will upload it on YouTube for the rest of the world. So you get to um, get first dibs, get the first dibs on, on the money making method. I know you can't see this, this piece of paper, but I've listed all of the profit and it is. Ooh, don't want to miss out. Alright, how long have I been playing? I've been playing for two years, but my playtime is just over four months. Alright, but that is it for today's live stream, boys and girls. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. But until then, stay tuned. So I'll see you tomorrow, maybe? I'll see you tomorrow. But until then, this has been Bernard from Burst on TV Gaming. Oh, BurstOnTV.com saying do something you love every single day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.